my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my kicks. What is going on YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks coming at you with another detailed review and on foot of the Mache Runner Queen Mary edition, man coming up getting into the details of the shoe the shoe comprises of a leather upper and you also have suede in there as well um as you can see on the midsole it's an all black midsole usually with the runners he keeps this white but you know the uh, outsoles on um, black midsoles black then it comes up to like this um like um black toe box which is pretty decent and then on the mid and um, then on the middle part of the shoe is white and you got this like black stitching kind of reminds you of a baseball then towards the back of the shoe you have this gray suede as far as like the quality of suede it's okay like I've, it's not the best quality of suede but it's pretty decent and on the medial side of the shoe is exactly like the lateral side of the shoe i like these x hits right there and then as you can see it says queen mary and that's a pretty nice touch and when it comes to the back of the shoe, you know, got a you know, black pull tab. And on the lacing system of the shoe, just your standard um, mache runner lacing. They give you, you know, gray laces when it comes to the shoe. At the top of the tongue, you got the mache logo. And on the insole of the shoe, the insole is red and it has the mache logo painted in white. As far as sizing goes with this shoe, I would suggest going um, true to size, even if you have a fat, a wide, a normal, or a narrow foot. These shoes retail at $300 and how I came across my pair was um, it's a, a sneaker customizer. His name is Mache. Um, you, have, you probably know him as Mache Customs. He does a lot of customs for celebrities, NBA players, football players, you name it, man. He's been in the customizing game for a long time and he um, finally decided to make his own shoe. And you know, the base model of this shoe is called the Mache Runner and he like does it in different colorways, you know, to commemorate certain things. So I guess in the East Coast, it's a um, boat called Queen Mary, and I guess it's pretty prominent out in the East Coast. So he went on ahead and made a shoe that uh, that, that like kind of pays homage to it. Um, I'll put a picture of the boat next to me so you can see what I'm talking about. But this shoe pays homage to um, the Queen Mary boat, and you know, you know that, that and that's the whole theme of the shoe. I liked it because it had that black midsole. He rarely does black midsoles on his shoes. Then you got the white up top with the little hits of gray, and then you got the little you know hits of um, red all throughout the shoe. This kind of reminds me with this um blacked out um, midsole. It kind of reminds me of like a like a what do I want to call it? Like kind of like a dress shoe. It kind of looks dressy the way it the color blocking looks on this shoe. Like you could wear this with like somewhat of like a tuxedo type shoe suit if you went with the red bow tie. And you know if you went with like a white undershirt with a red bow tie, you could kind of pull this shoe off with that it kind of has that tuxedo look in my opinion so you know overall i just like the colorway of this shoe and like you know how mache as a person you know presents himself he's always very transparent he gives you all the details about this shoe usually he does pre-orders on these shoes but for um complex kind which was like a couple of months ago he was selling this model or this colorway strictly as complex con in california and if you weren't there you missed out on the shoe maybe like two or three weeks later after the event all the unsold pairs of shoes that he had he put them out on his website and we was able to cop them usually um you could pre-order the shoe but he did not allow any pre-orders on the shoe this the only way you could get that shoe is either hitting that drop if it, or if you was at complex con in california so there was only 300 pairs of this shoe and i like that exclusivity part of it i got a shoe that no one else will own and unfortunately for the people that missed out if you still want to get the shoe your only choice is ebay or StockX. because once he releases a shoe he does not re-release it again so unfortunately you got to go ahead and take that L and uh and pay resale for this shoe now without further ado here's an on foot look of the mache runner queen mary edition no hashtag i'm past rapping gas clapping a crack package put me in a different tax bracket mm. this 40 kicking like the last dragon they talking smoke we got gas masses and max with the strap fastened you the best shit when that happened they took breaks, we was back at it. OG, yeah, I'm that status. I go to jail and I'm max status. We cash addicts, the jewels make the plug, wanna send a bad chat us. Uh-huh. You know I stack chips on chips. Got a nigga shopping in sacks fifth on fifth. I put out shit that impact strips. I showed niggas how to take those Miami trips and get back bricks. Mm. Yeah, the money fast when the dope fire. I won't lie, I really put a brick in the wheel. Now that's a snow tire for dough handlers and coke buyers. 
but I used to couldn't change the channel if I ain't had no pliers. Uh, my old trap spot had 50 stashes. The house I grew up in had empty cabinets. I let off with this 50 Magnum, make you bleed 50 gallons. Put more people to sleep than city mattress. Huh. Ask niggas about the butch, especially these little rap niggas I'm about to cook. Huh. You got a little fag in you just by the looks. And the clip, I yo, fuck all that. Hey, look, last year was light, but this one I'm taking flight. No matter how bad she is, I never spend a night. That's what happens when you ghetto and get rich cause you ain't settled. They double back and try to box you in like Canelo. Bob and weave like I'm Floyd. My last job was selling boy. All them abs I destroyed. That's a pass I avoid, but admit it, you ain't half as raw. I turned a brick into applesauce. Nigga, I had more plugs than an Apple store. When it's cash involved, I gotta laugh at y'all. You broke. This shoe came with a special box. As you can see, it says Mache Gang, and then it has a picture of the queen mary boat right there so that's the shoe that it pays homage to it says you know queen mary right here you know and then you know it just shows you the box the sizing on one side and you know got his little logo right there but overall man definitely great um, presentation when it comes to the box um nothing on the inside mainly but man overall as far as like the extra you know details that come with this shoe he definitely snapped when it comes to the extra detail as always i want to thank you guys for watching this video today i really do appreciate it smash that like button if you like this video also comment down below what's your favorite mache colorway if you own a pair of mache runners it could be these it could be the um gouaches it could be the Grove Streets, whatever, man. Just comment that down below and we could chop it up in the comment section. Also, you know, if you don't, if you never heard of Mache and you clicked on this video to watch it, I appreciate you. Just comment down below what's your favorite shoe of all time. You can, it could be a Jordan, it could be an Adidas, Reebok, whatever. Comment down below what's your favorite shoe of all time and we could chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button, takes nothing but a couple seconds, and you'll be notified when I drop future videos. And lastly, peace.